Introduction Hey Ria, what are you doing? Nothing father, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. What is the growth rate of population in our country? Good question. We can find the growth rate by using derivatives. How can we use derivatives to find out growth rate? Would you like to learn more of it? Yeah, father. In this lesson, you will learn the applications of derivatives. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to find the rate of change of quantities, analyze the increasing and decreasing intervals of functions, find the equation of tangents on a curve, find the equation of normal on a curve, to approximate the roots using differentials, find the maximum and minimum value of a function, find the maximum and minimum value of a function in a closed interval. Rate of change of quantities. The derivative is defined in a way that it gives the instantaneous rate of change of a function. The standard example of this is that f of t gives the position of an object at time t. f dash of t gives the velocity of the object at time t. Let's take some examples of quantities that change with time. If f of t is equal to population of bacteria, f dash of t is equal to growth rate of population. If f of t is equal to amount of radioactive material, f dash of t is equal to rate of decay. Example, the side of a square sheet of metal is increasing at the rate of 3 cm per minute. At what rate is the area of the sheet increasing when its side is 10 cm long? Solution. Let x be the side and a be the area of the sheet at time t. It is given that dx by dt is equal to 3 cm per minute, name it as 1. And a is equal to x square, name it as 2. Differentiate equation 2 with respect to t. We get dA by dt equals 2x into dx by dt. From equation 1, dA by dt is equal to 6x. Now the rate of change of area when x is equal to 10 cm is dA by dt at x is equal to 10, which equals 6 into 10 square centimeter per minute, equals 60 square centimeter per minute. Increasing and decreasing functions. A function f is increasing on an open interval i, if for any two numbers, x1 and x2 in the interval, x1 is less than x2, implies f of x1 is less than or equal to f of x2. A function f is decreasing on an open interval i, if for any two numbers, x1 and x2 in the interval, x1 is less than x2 implies f of x1 is greater than or equal to f of x2. A function f is strictly increasing on an open interval i, if for every x1, x2 belongs to i with x1 less than x2, we have f of x1 is less than f of x2. That means f of x gets larger as x gets larger. A function f is strictly decreasing on an open interval i if for every x1, x2 belongs to i with x1 less than x2, we have f of x1 is greater than f of x2. That means f of x gets smaller as x gets larger. There are functions which are neither increasing nor decreasing. Let's have an example. The given blow function is y, which equals cos x. Theorem. Let f be continuous on a closed interval a, b and differentiable on the open interval a, b. Then, f is increasing in closed interval a, b if f dash x greater than 0 for which x belongs to open interval a, b. f is decreasing in closed interval a, b if f dash of x less than 0 for each x belongs to open interval a, b. f is a constant function in closed interval a, b if f dash of x is equal to 0 for each x belongs to open interval a, b.
example find the value of a for which the function f of x is equal to x square minus 2ax plus 6 is strictly increasing when x greater than 0 solution we have f of x is equal to x square minus 2ax plus 6 differentiate f of x with respect to x f dash of x is equal to 2x minus 2a equals 2 into x minus a f dash of x greater than 0 if 2 into x minus a greater than 0 or if x greater than a therefore a less than or equal to 0 because x greater than 0 tangents and normals let y is equal to f of x the derivative of y with respect to x that is dy by dx at x1 comma y1 represents the slope of the tangent to the curvy y which equals to f of x at x1 comma y1 the equation of tangent to the curve at x1 comma y1 is y minus y1 is equal to dy by dx at x1 comma y1 into x minus x1 as we know that the normal line is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact therefore the slope of the normal at x1 comma y1 is minus 1 upon dy by dx at x1 comma y1 the equation of the normal at x1 comma y1 to the curve y is equal to f of x is y minus y1 equals minus 1 upon dy by dx at x1 comma y1 into x minus x1 special case if slope of the tangent line is 0 then tan theta is equal to 0 and so theta equals to 0 which means the tangent line is parallel to the x axis so the equation of the tangent at the point x1 comma y1 is given by y as y1 if theta approaches pi by 2 then tan theta approaches infinity which means the tangent line is perpendicular to the x axis that is parallel to the y axis so the equation of the tangent at x1 comma y1 is given by x is equal to x1 Example, find the slope of tangent and normal to the curve square root x plus square root y, which is equal to 1 at 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. Solution, the equation of the curve is square root x plus square root y equals 1, name it as 1. Differentiating equation 1 with respect to x, we get 1 by 2 into square root x plus 1 by 2 into square root y into dy by dx equals 0 or dy by dx is equal to minus square root of y by x therefore the slope of the tangent at 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 is minus square root of 1 by 2 upon 1 by 2 which equals minus 1 and the slope of the normal to the curve at 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 is minus 1 by minus 1 which equals 1 approximations the derivative of fx is wrtx is defined as f dash of x is equal to limit delta x approaches to 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x f dash of x is approximately equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x it implies that f of x plus delta x is equal to f of x plus delta x into f dash of x which is called the approximate value of f of x plus delta x Example Using differentials, 
find the approximate value of fourth root of 9996. Solution 9996 equals 10,000 minus 4, which is equal to 10 raised to the power 4 minus 4. Let x equals 10 raised to the power 4, delta x equals minus 4. Therefore, x plus delta x is equal to 9,996. Let y be equal to x raised to the power 1 by 4 equals 10 raised to the power 4 into 1 by 4 equals 10. Therefore, dy by dx equals 1 by 4 into x raised to the power minus 3 by 4. Therefore, y plus delta y equals delta x into dy by dx plus y. Fourth root of 9,996 equals minus 4 into 1 by 4 into x raised to the power 3 by 4 plus 10 equals 10 minus 1 by 10,000 raised to the power 3 by 4 equals 10 minus 1 by 1,000 which is equal to 10 minus 0 0.001 equals 9.999. The approximate value of fourth root of 9,996 equals 9.999 Maxima and Minima Maximum value of a function A maximum value of a function is 1, which is more than all other values on either side of the point in the neighborhood of the point. This is called as local maxima. Relative local maximum Let function f of x be a real valued function and c be an interior point in the domain of f of x, then f of x is said to have a relative a local maximum at x which is equal to c if f of c greater than f of c plus h for all positive and negative values of h sufficiently small. Minimum value of a function A minimum value of a function is 1 which is less than all other values on either side of the point in the immediate neighborhood of the point. This is called as local minima. Relative local minimum let function f of x be a real valued function and c be an interior point in the domain of f of x, then f of x is said to have a relative or local minimum at x which is equal to d if f of d less than f of d plus h for all positive and negative values of h sufficiently small. First derivative test 1. Find the first derivative of the function that is f dash x. 2. Equate the first derivative to 0, that is f dash x is equal to 0, and solve the resulting equation for real roots, that is, let x is equal to c, d, etc. These are the points for maxima or minima. 3. Let x is equal to c be one of these points. If f dash of x changes sign from positive to negative, that is f dash of x greater than 0 for x less than c near c and f dash of x less than 0 for x greater than c near c, then x is equal to c is a point of local maximum. If f dash of x changes sign from negative to positive, that is f dash of x less than 0 for x less than c near c and f dash of x greater than 0 for x greater than c near c, then x is equal to c is a point of the local minimum. 4. If f dash of x does not change sign, then c is neither a point of local maxima nor a point of local minima. Such a point is called point of inflection.
maxima, and minima. Second derivative test. Let f be a function defined on an interval i and c belongs to i. Let f be twice differentiable at c, then x is equal to c is a point of local maxima if f dash of c is equal to 0 and f double dash of c less than 0. The value f of c is local maximum value of f. x is equal to c is a point of local minima if f dash of c is equal to 0 and f double dash of c greater than 0. The value f of c is local minimum value of f. The test fails if f dash of c is equal to 0 and f double dash of c is equal to 0. In this case, we use first derivative test and find whether c is a point of local maxima, local minima or a point of inflection. Maximum and minimum values of a function in a closed interval. Maximum value of a function. If f of x is a function defined over a closed interval a, b, then this function is said to have absolute or global maximum at x equals c. C belongs to a, b if f of x less than or equal to f of c for all x belongs to a, b. Minimum value of a function. If f of x is a function defined over a closed interval a, b, then this function is said to have a maximum at x equals d. d belongs to a, comma b if f of x is greater than or equal to f of d for all x belongs to a, comma b. Theorem. Let f be a continuous function on a closed interval i is equal to a, comma b. Then f has the absolute maximum value and f attains it at least once in i. Also, f has the absolute minimum value and attains it at least once in i. Theorem. Let f be a differentiable function on a closed interval i and let c be any interior point of i. Then, f dash of c is equal to zero if f attains its absolute maximum value at c. f dash of c is equal to zero if f attains its absolute minimum value at c. Working rule. Step 1. Find all critical points of f in the interval. That is, find points x, whether f dash of x is equal to 0 or f is not differentiable. Step 2. Take the endpoints of the interval. Step 3. At the endpoints, calculate the values of f. Step 4. Identify the maximum and minimum values of f out of the calculated values. This maximum value will be the absolute maximum greatest value of f and the minimum value will be the absolute minimum least value of f. Example Find the local maximum and local minimum points for the function. f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 9x square minus 24x using first derivative test. Solution. f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 9x square minus 24x. f dash of x is equal to 6x square minus 18x minus 24 equals 6 into x square minus 3x minus 4. We factorized the equation as 6 into x minus 4 into x plus 1. f dash of x is equal to 0. It implies that x is equal to 4. x is equal to minus 1. Now, when x is equal to 4, x less than 4, it implies that f dash of x less than 0. x greater than 4, it implies that f dash of x greater than 0. Therefore, f of x has a local minima at x is equal to 4. When x is equal to minus 1, x less than minus 1, it implies that f dash of x greater than 0. x greater than minus 1, it implies that f dash of x less than 0. Therefore, f of x has a local maxima at x which is equal to minus 1.
Example How should a wire 20 cm long be divided into two parts if one part is to be bent into a square and the other part to be bent into a circle so that the sum of the areas of these two plane figures is minimum? Solution Let one part be x, then the other part will be 20 minus x. Let x be the perimeter of the square and 20 minus x be the circumference of circle, then the total area will be a is equal to x by 4 whole square plus pi into 20 minus x by 2 pi square equals x square by 16 plus 20 minus x square by 4 pi. Therefore, dA by dx is equal to x by 8 minus 20 minus x by 2 pi. For extreme values, dA by dx is equal to 0. It implies that x by 8 minus 20 minus x by 2 pi is equal to 0. It implies that pi into x minus 80 plus 4x is equal to 0. It implies that x is equal to 80 by pi plus 4. Also, d2a by dx square is equal to 1 by 8 plus 1 by 2 pi greater than 0. Thus, the area of the two plane figures will be minimum when x is equal to 80 by pi plus 4. The length of the part making a square is 80 by pi plus 4. Then the length of the other part will be 20 minus 80 by pi plus 4, which equals 20 pi by pi plus 4. Thus, the lengths of the parts should be 80 by pi plus 4 centimeter and 20 pi by pi plus 4 centimeter. Did you know? Sir Isaac Newton did a huge contribution in developing derivatives. Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz was a German philosopher, mathematician and logician who has independently developed the calculus. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The derivative is defined in a way that it gives the instantaneous rate of change of a function. The function f is increasing on an open interval i. If for any two numbers x1 and x2 in the interval, x1 is less than x2, implies f of x1 is less than or equal to f of x2. A function f is decreasing on an open interval i. If for any two numbers x1 and x2 in the interval, x1 is less than x2, implies f of x1 is greater than or equal to f of x2. A function f is strictly increasing on an open interval i if for every x1, x2 belongs to i with x1 less than x2, we have f of x1 is less than f of x2. That means f of x gets larger as x gets larger. A function f is strictly decreasing on an open interval i if for every x1, x2 belongs to i with x1 less than x2, we have f of x1 is greater than f of x2. That means f of x gets smaller as x gets larger. The equation of tangent to the curvy y is equal to f of x at x1, y1 is y minus y1 equals dy by dx at x1, y1 into x minus x1. The equation of the normal at x1, y1 to the curve y is equal to f of x is y minus y1 equals minus 1 upon dy by dx at x1, y1 into x minus x1. The approximate value of f of x plus delta x is f of x plus delta x into f dash of x. Let function f of x be a real valued function and c be an interior point in the domain of f of x, then f of x is said to have a relative or local maximum at x is equal to c if f of c greater than f of c plus h for all positive and negative values of h sufficiently small. Let function f of x be a real valued function and c be an interior point in the domain of f of x, then f of x is said to have a relative 
a local minimum at x is equal to d if f of d less than f of d plus h for all positive and negative values of h sufficiently small. If f of x is a function defined over a closed interval a, b, then this function is said to have absolute or global maximum at x is equal to c. c belongs to a, b. If f of x less than or equal to f of c for all x belongs to a, b. If f of x is a function defined over a closed interval a, b, then this function is said to have a minimum at x which equals d. D belongs to A, B if f of x is greater than or equal to f of D for all x belongs to A, B. Let f be a continuous function on a closed interval i which is equal to A, B. Then f has the absolute maximum value and f attains it at least once in i. Also, f has the absolute minimum value and attains it at least once in i. Let f be a differentiable function on a closed interval i and let c be any interior point of i then f dash of c is equal to zero if f attains its absolute maximum value at c. f dash of c is equal to zero if f attains its absolute minimum value at c.